Hey there, wonderful souls. I want to start by asking you a question that may resonate deep within. Have you ever found yourself looking around at the blessings pouring into the lives of those around you, wondering when your turn will come? I know it can be tough. You've cried out to God, poured your heart out in prayer, and yet it seems like your blessings are taking forever. But let me tell you something profound. God has not forgotten about you. Your time is coming, and when it does, it will be nothing short of miraculous. In moments of despair, remember this. For the revelation awaits an appointed time, it speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. Habakkuk 2 verse 3 Your blessings have an appointed time, and God's timing is perfect. Now, here's the incredible news. When God is about to bless you massively, there are clear signs. Signs that should fill your heart with hope and anticipation. Even if you haven't noticed them yet, don't lose heart. God is still at work, orchestrating the blessings meant just for you. So lean in, my friends. When these signs appear, align your heart with God's purpose. And if you haven't seen them, don't give up. Keep the faith, for God is working behind the scenes. Now, before we dive into these signs, remember to stick around until the end. We'll share a moment of prayer together, inviting God's blessings into our lives. So, are you ready? Ready to discover the signs that God is about to bless you massively? Let's embark on this journey of faith together. The first clear sign that God is about to bless you massively is often found in the season of waiting. Now, waiting is not always the easiest place to be, right? We live in a world that values instant gratification, and waiting seems counterintuitive. But there's a divine purpose in the waiting. Think about the story of Abraham. In Genesis 12, God promised him descendants as numerous as the stars, but Abraham had to endure years of waiting before Isaac, the promised son, was born. And it wasn't just any waiting. It was a season of anticipation, refinement, and preparation. In Psalm 27, verse 14, it says, Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Waiting isn't a passive state. It's an active posture of trust. God uses the waiting season to shape our character, deepen our dependence on Him, and align our desires with His perfect plan. So, my friends, if you find yourself in a season of waiting, waiting for a breakthrough, waiting for a blessing, take heart. This could be a clear sign that God is about to do something extraordinary in your life. Use this time to draw closer to Him, to seek His will, and to trust that His blessings are worth the wait. Remember, God's timing is impeccable, and your waiting season is not in vain. Be patient, be persistent, and watch with expectancy as God unfolds His blessings in your life. Now, let's delve into the second clear sign that God is about to bless you massively. The season of testing. Yes, you heard it right. Testing. It might seem counterintuitive, but God often uses times of testing to prepare us for the extraordinary blessings He has in store. Now, Let's delve into the second clear sign that God is about to bless you massively. The season of testing. Yes, you heard it right. Testing. It might seem counterintuitive, but God often uses times of testing to prepare us for the extraordinary blessings He has in store. In the New Testament, we find the remarkable story of the Apostle Paul. Before his name was Paul, he was known as Saul a fierce persecutor of Christians. But on the road to Damascus, he encountered a blinding light and heard the voice of Jesus. 
This encounter marked the beginning of a profound transformation, but it also ushered in a season of intense testing. Paul faced numerous hardships for the sake of the gospel, imprisonment, beatings, shipwrecks, and more. In 2 Corinthians 11, verses 23 through 28, Paul himself recounts the trials he endured. Paul himself recounts the trials he endured. Yet, through it all, he remained faithful to God's call on his life. This season of testing was not easy for Paul. In fact, he pleaded with God to remove a thorn in his flesh. But God's response in 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9 is powerful. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. God's blessings often shine through our weaknesses and in the midst of testing. So, if you find yourself in a season of testing, Facing challenges, enduring trials, take heart. The Apostle Paul's life teaches us that God's grace is sufficient, even in our weaknesses. Your current struggles may be the very refining process God is using to prepare you for the blessings He has in store. Your life, like Paul's, is a unique journey, and God knows the intricate details. If you're facing challenges, if life feels like a series of tests, remember that God sees your faithfulness. Your perseverance in the midst of testing is noticed by Him. And here's the beautiful part. Just as Paul went from being a persecutor to becoming a powerful apostle, your testing season can lead to a season of tremendous blessings. Hold on to your faith, for your testing is not in vain. God is preparing to bless you massively. Moving on to the third clear sign that God is about to bless you massively. The season of clarification. Now, many of us are aware that God loves us, but the way he demonstrates that love can sometimes be a bit surprising. Before God fulfills his promises, he often takes us through a season of clarification, teaching us what those promises truly entail. You see, it's common for us to have a general understanding that God loves us, but the specifics of His promises may not always be clear. This season of clarification is like a divine classroom where God imparts wisdom and understanding about His plans for your life. Let's turn to the New Testament for a moment. Consider the disciples before Jesus' crucifixion. They had a general idea that Jesus was the Messiah, but they struggled to fully grasp the depth of his mission and the promises that God had in store for them. Jesus often spoke in parables to clarify the kingdom of God. In Mark 4, 11, he said, The secret of the kingdom of God has been given to you, but to those on the outside, everything is said in parables. The disciples needed a season of clarification to truly understand the nature of God's promises and the purpose of Jesus' sacrifice. Similarly, in your life, God might be taking you through a season where He is clarifying His promises. It's not because he wants to keep you in the dark, but because he desires to deepen your understanding and trust in him. If you're in a season where things seem a bit uncertain, where you're seeking clarity on God's promises, take heart. This could be a clear sign that God is preparing to bless you massively. He wants you to know the full extent of his love and the incredible promises he has in store for you. Moving on to the fourth clear sign that God is about to bless you massively, the closing of doors. It may seem paradoxical, but God often orchestrates the closing of certain doors before unveiling new avenues of blessings in our lives. Consider the life of Peter, one of Jesus' disciples. After the resurrection, Peter continued to preach and spread the gospel. However, in Acts 12, we see a fascinating episode. Peter found himself imprisoned by King Herod, facing imminent trial and potential execution. Now, this situation might have seemed like a closed door for Peter. 
the chains, the prison walls, the guards, all physical indicators of limitation. But in the midst of this apparent setback, God had a plan. Acts 12, verse 7 recounts, Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said, and the chains fell off Peter's wrists. God miraculously opened the closed door of Peter's prison cell. This event wasn't just a physical release. It was a symbol of God's power to remove barriers and open up new opportunities. Shortly after this, Peter continued to play a crucial role in the early Christian community. In your life, closed doors might appear as challenges, limitations, or unexpected setbacks. Yet, these closures could be God's way of preparing you for a breakthrough, a blessing that awaits on the other side. Now, let's explore the fifth clear sign that God is about to bless you massively, the presence of distractions. It might seem counterintuitive, but distractions can sometimes be a sign that God is preparing to pour out His blessings in your life. Consider the life of Nehemiah in the Old Testament. Nehemiah was tasked with the enormous responsibility of rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. As he and the people worked diligently on this significant project, distractions arose in the form of opposition and attempts to divert their focus. In Nehemiah 6, verse 2 and 3, we read, Sanbala and Geshem sent me this message, Come, let us meet together in one of the villages on the plain of Anu. But they were scheming to harm me. Nehemiah recognized the distractions for what they were, attempts to hinder God's work. Despite the distractions, he remained steadfast in his commitment to the task at hand. In your life, distractions may manifest as unexpected challenges, competing priorities, or even opportunities that seem enticing but aren't aligned with God's plan for you. These distractions can test your focus and determination. The enemy often tries to divert our attention when God is about to usher in blessings. It's essential to discern between God's appointed path and distractions that could lead us astray. In James 1.8, it says, Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all they do. God desires our undivided attention. So, if you're experiencing distractions, obstacles that threaten to pull you away from God's purpose, take it as a potential sign. God may be preparing to bless you in a significant way, and distractions are merely attempts to derail His divine plan. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by life's challenges, especially when we're eagerly anticipating God's blessings. In those moments, remember that your strength is not solely reliant on your abilities, but comes from Christ, who empowers you. You might be facing closed doors, distractions, or a season of waiting, and it can be tough. However, know that God is at work, and His promises are not empty. He has a purpose for every twist and turn in your journey. In the midst of uncertainty... Hold on to the truth that God is orchestrating everything for your good. It might not make sense now, but He is working behind the scenes, aligning things in your favor. Delight in the Lord, not just when things are going well, but especially when challenges arise. Trust that as you seek Him, He will fulfill the desires of your heart. As Psalm 30 7 4 says, Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Your journey is unique, and God's plan for you is filled with hope, purpose, and blessings beyond your imagination. So, in this moment, lift your eyes beyond your circumstances. Embrace the strength that comes from Christ. Trust in His goodness and let the anticipation of His blessings fill your heart with hope and joy.
Before we conclude, let's take a moment to embrace some affirmations grounded in the promises of God. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I trust in God's timing. I am more than a conqueror through Christ. I am an overcomer by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now, let these affirmations resonate in your heart as we prepare to lift our prayers to the Lord. Now, let's join together in seeking God's guidance, thanking Him for the blessings that are on the way, and affirming our trust in His plan. Heavenly Father, as we gather in this sacred moment, our hearts are filled with gratitude for your enduring love, unyielding grace, and the promise of blessings that await. We come before you, vulnerable and open, acknowledging our need for your presence in every aspect of our lives. Lord, we lift our hands in surrender, trusting that you see our struggles, our hopes, and our dreams. In this moment, we plead for your blessings, not just in one area, but in every corner of our lives. Father, bless our families. Wrap them in the warmth of your love. Heal any wounds, restore broken relationships, and let the light of your presence shine brightly in our homes. May our families be a testament to your grace and unity. Bless our health, dear Lord. In the midst of physical challenges, we lean on your promise to be our healer. Touch our bodies with your restorative power, granting us strength, vitality, and the ability to serve you with renewed energy. Lord, we plead for your blessings in our work and endeavors. Open doors of opportunity, guide our steps, and infuse our labor with purpose. May our work be a reflection of your glory and a means to impact the world for your kingdom. Bless our relationships, Father. Whether it be friendships, romantic relationships, or connections with those around us, may they be rooted in love, understanding, and mutual support. Mend what is broken and foster connections that honor and glorify you. Heavenly Father, we come to you with open hearts, acknowledging that your plans are greater than our own. We plead for your blessings in our finances, trusting that you are our provider. Illuminate the path that leads us to financial stability and abundance, not for our glory, but for yours. Lord, as we navigate the complexities of life, we seek your guidance and wisdom. Bless our decisions, our dreams, and the desires of our hearts. Let our lives be a living testimony to your faithfulness. In the stillness of this moment, we offer our sincerest pleas, trusting that you are a God who hears and answers. Pour out your blessings, O Lord, in ways that exceed our understanding. May your love and favor follow us all the days of our lives. We lay our hopes and dreams before you, knowing that you are a God who delights in blessing your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining in this moment of prayer and reflection. As we conclude, may the blessings we've pleaded for be on the way, and may you find comfort in the assurance that God hears and answers our heartfelt cry. Remember, your journey is guided by a loving and sovereign God. Keep the faith, stay anchored in His promises, and be open to the unexpected ways He may choose to bless you. If this time of prayer has touched your heart, consider sharing it with others who may benefit. 
Together, let's continue this journey of faith, supporting one another along the way. May the peace of God envelop you, and may His blessings overflow in your life. Until we meet again, go in the grace and love of our Lord. God bless you abundantly.